Hi guys, this is tabletnews.com and I'm here with the Allview All Draw Speed, a Romanian tablet that goes for around uh, 200 euros. So it's a low-end device with a budget price. And here we are. This is a 7-inch model, a very light and a pretty thin one. As I said, one from Eastern Europe, from Romania. It's actually a rebranded Chinese tablet so it's still affordable as you can see it runs Android 2.3 it will sometimes refer to this device as a phone so for example it told, tells you that you have shut down your phone and stuff like that you must know that this device was launched in December that it measures 9.9 .9 millimeters in thickness so it's reasonably thin it weighs 392 grams the screen is a 7 inch affair with a 800 over 480 pixel resolution 16.9 is this uh, display we also have a Cortex A8 CPU 1.2 GHz so if you're expecting anything better well tough luck that's all you get, you get this single core CPU 1.2 GHz as you can see we have some uh, buttons on the right side that will respond too well to the commands sometimes you have to insist to press them better they also won't light up at night which can be pretty bothersome however you have a replacement virtual control here this is a back button and this is a menu button they will replace these areas pretty well when it's night other features include a Mali 400 GPU a 4 core GPU that's claimed to get some great uh, gaming performances out of this device so you can consider this sort of a larger phone but without the phone features since it has gingerbread it also has 4 GB of internal memory 512 MB of RAM micro SD slot, a front VGA camera Wi-Fi and HDMI port a lithium ion battery 3100 mAh and about 5 hours of functioning provided by it as far as the designing concern these are the buttons I was telling you about, the classic Android buttons here we have some ports, we have the audio jack next to it we have the micro USB port there's the HDMI and this one is the audio jack in fact, sorry, this is the charger and this is the audio jack that's about it, at the back we have these speakers here we have the card slot, TF card and other than that on this side we have the on off button and the screen lock button and the volume buttons so as far as the design is concerned this feels like a cheap tablet the material is plasticky but it, at least the tablet is light it's not that heavy in the user's hand you can do video streaming with it, the LNA supposedly you get remote PC access and the maker of this device Romanian company Allview promised upgrade it to Android ice cream sandwich although I can guarantee that but in the meantime let's see how it behaves when it comes to media playback so let's see what we have here first I'm going to use the explorer find some music see how it behaves when it comes to music let's play an IMX song Ghost of Utopia This is the speaker. Okay, the volume is reasonably good. As I said, you'll sometimes fail when pressing these buttons numerous times. Other stuff I can show you let's see, in the media section maybe I'll get some uh, video playback out of this unit let me just try and find it as you can see we have the usual uh, notification bar in Android that I'm trying to trigger right now so here we are, this is the notification bar and uh, for example I can trigger task killer from here to kill some selected apps 
and in the meantime I'm searching for some video content to play back here so the gallery will be a good indication for that as I said the, even if you have a gallery I copied some pictures on board you might not want to use the VJ from camera for pics rather than video call that's a better choice these are some pictures that I've copied on the device to give you an idea of how the zoom works and what the zoom level is on this screen so if you want to view pictures from your holiday this is a pretty decent tool but if you want to take pictures pictures not so much okay now let's try some video playback and here we go a mystery thousands of years old Okay, enough about these documentaries. This uh, device is able to play MP3 files, VMA, FLAC files, AVI files, MKVs, MP4. It supports the DivX and XVID uh, codecs, so everything is okay. Uh, the biggest problem I have with it is the sudden resets that may happen to other tablets as well. But also, another problem is that it takes a very long while to charge this battery. For example, it may even take 3 or 4 hours. Okay, so we saw the audio part, we saw the video part, now let's see some browsing. So I'm going to access the web browser and load tabletnews.com. Okay, you'll also get to see the virtual keyboard this time, looks pretty comfortable. The lag is omnipresent. So here we are with tablet news trying to do some scrolling in here trying to pinch to zoom the text is ok to read let's try it in portrait mode as well so at least as a browsing tool it works just fine and movies are also pretty ok on this device once again a budget device one that costs around $200 so it's pretty cheap other stuff you can do on this device is socialize of course I've installed Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus so let's try Facebook first in the latest Android iteration that's taking a while to load as you can see here we are, you can see what people are doing, their statuses you can see the latest notifications some messages you received recently the people who want to add you as well some friend requests there is also this main section here that shows you uh, everything that you can do with your account like novelty people close by, events, friends the groups you're part of applications, close friends and other stuff like that of course you can also view Facebook in uh, portrait mode so socializing is taken care of now I will move on to Twitter and in case some of you wonder I got these applications from Android Market so Android Market works on this tablet unlike some of the other Chinese tablets I have used and here we are, this is the Twitter app with some mentions, the option to discover what people are talking about and there is also a me section with uh, details, drafts, direct messages pretty simplistic app and finally we have the Google Plus that's somewhere around here, here it is the latest socializing big shot this one is pretty simple, we have the stream of information from the people you know with pictures and text the ones that people send you people that are close by as you can see a bit of lag is still present 
you, there is also a messenger here, a collection of photos from the people you have in your circles. And once again the lag is felt. This Google Plus app must be pretty complex since it causes that much fuss. There is also some details around here about my account, some photos I've posted and all the things I posted recently. Okay, enough with my Google Plus account. There was one more thing to show you but I skipped it. Of course, since this is an Android device, I can always add widgets to the screen. Like the calendar and other stuff, so let's add the calendar. Everything is synced with my Google account. So if I click this calendar, for example, I can see what's coming. So if I want to go to, let's say, next month. Here it is, February. Well, Mobile World Congress should start on the 27th. And if I want to schedule it, I can really do that. I can create a new event. I can name the event Mobile World Congress. I can select that it takes all day. And that's about it. I added a new event to my calendar. Mobile World Congress. Okay, enough with the calendar. We also have email here. That's one of my predict. Since this is an Android device, we have Gmail. This is how it looks. Import portrait and landscape. It's the usual application. So I guess it's time to give the old task killer something to do. Since after all we're dealing with a single core device, sometimes it will lag, sometimes it will freeze, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, let's see what else I can show you. As I said, there's a video camera, but it's a front camera, so not much to do with that. Other than that, let's see, there's a notes app. So if you want to take notes, sadly it only seems to work in portrait, as you can see, no landscape love. So let's say, go shopping. Go shopping tomorrow. Here it is, the note, go shopping tomorrow. I have it here. I can also place it on the screen, like this, if you want to keep a note of things to do later on, that's pretty okay. Um, the company behind this device, all of you promised a 3G dongle that will come soon and give the 3G connectivity to this device. It only has Wi-Fi for now, so that's pretty sad. If you want uh, more than Wi-Fi, then you'll have to wait a bit more. And uh, let's show you the maps since this device does have maps after all it entered another app that I didn't want it to as you can see I keep pressing the back button but it simply won't listen only with the home button I close that app down and I continue to have problem with this device that's why people prefer to spend more to buy an iPad for example instead of spending less to buy a device that can get all crazy on you. So what I was saying is that I'm going to show you the maps. Let's see. Google Maps. Should be somewhere around here. I had to install it, believe it or not. It wasn't already installed. Would be easier if I had a search method. Here we are. Maps. This is the classic experience, if you've ever used map before, you know what I'm talking about. So it can locate you pretty fast. Pinch to zoom available. The usual options for showing uh, the terrain, satellite view, transportation, and whatnot. There's also the option to look stuff up, if you want, or if you're in the mood. 
And now I've gotten to the point where I must show you what apps I have installed on this device. Well, what to show you first? Well, I guess I could show you that app I've shown you earlier by mistake. That Solar Explorer. If you're into space and astronomy, I recommend this. You can find out stuff about the Earth. You can find out stats. Structure of the Earth. Then you can move on to one of these other planets from here. You can move on to Mars and its structure, its statistics, the satellites it has around it. Pretty nice accompanying music. You can go back to other planets. For example, you have Saturn with its beautiful satellites. The sun is called Sol in here. So you get all you need to know about all planets and the sun. Okay, once again with the task killer. Sorry for doing so many repeated stuff and mistakes. It's essential that I uh, kill all, the, all of the unneeded tasks to free some memory, to give you a good rundown of what's happening here. Let's see what other apps I can show you. There is a new Wikipedia app that was launched a couple of days ago. It's the official Wikipedia app. After a couple of ripoffs, this is certainly welcome. It has an article of the day. It has some news. It has some trivia some anniversaries, you can look stuff up so if you want, I want to look up Einstein here we are it offers some options for my search here it is with his date of birth, all the details about him and this is the Wikipedia options, other languages, close by, history, save the page and sharing with your friends if you want. And finally, we have a new game, we have a new Angry Birds. As you already might know, it's the 23rd of uh, January. So that means we're moving on to a new Chinese uh, year. This is the Chinese New Year. And Angry Birds has a bunch of new levels to celebrate that. The Chinese New Year levels. And here is the dragon. We've entered the year of the dragon. and we're waiting for it to load we also have a special uh, dragon bird so to say here it is, ear of the dragon I already played all the levels so I'm going to show you the last level bit of a spoiler and now I'm going to show you the special mighty dragon that will come in and save the day. That's a special item. When you call the dragon, it kills every pig on the screen. So it's a bonus feature. You get a pretty high kill rate with that dragon. Okay, enough with the game, it's time for the conclusion. As you saw, this review took a lot longer than usual because the tablet moves very slowly. I had to get used to it. It's not a dual core unit, it's not a quad core unit, it's a single core unit that uh, takes pride in that four core GPU that honestly I didn't feel in action. It remains a $200 tablet, a cheap one, one from Romania, all view, all draw speed. It may be called speed, but it's not that fast. It's good because it has HDMI, it has DLNA, it has that uh, promise to get Android 4.0 at some point, although I'm not so sure about it. The screen is pretty bright, video playback was okay, the audio volume was also pretty okay. And what else? Of course, you have uh, YouTube available in case you were wondering. It's somewhere around here. So if you want YouTube, you can also do that on this tablet. It has all the feature as a, features of a normal tablet, but in a cramped down experience with an older Android and with some lag and what I hated most were these buttons. 
you already know what I like, but these buttons are a pain. Probably its biggest problems are these buttons and the fact that the battery takes 3 hours or 4 hours to charge. This is it, this was tabletnews.com, full review of the all view all speed. Hope you liked it and I wish you a good day and a happy new Chinese year. Bye bye.